I have this friend named Roy who decided to get into sales early on in his career because he wanted to become financially free and more importantly, he wanted to set an example for the rest of his family of what was possible out in the world because the rest of them had only ever gotten low paying, low wage jobs around town. But there was one problem with Roy's sales career and that was that he wasn't very good at sales. See, after the first year he spent with his company, he had sold virtually nothing. And at that point, he was starting to get a little discouraged and actually was thinking about quitting the sales career and taking on one of those low paying minimum wage jobs around town like the rest of his family. But then one day out of the blue, his manager quit just out of nowhere and so he was a little left a little curious and a little worried about what was to come next so about a couple days later the CEO of that company actually pulled him aside and told him that they were going to be hiring him a new manager but at the same time the CEO also told him that if he didn't get his numbers up or start to sell pretty much anything with the company then he was going to get fired so he decided to wait around to see when that new manager was going to come and what may change and a couple days later they brought in a new manager and her name was Kay. The first day that Kay was on the job she gave Roy a couple of goals to start to work towards and even a little bit training. See this shocked Roy because he had never received any kind of guidance in the year that he was with that company but when he started to chase the goals that she actually gave him when it came time for the first one he didn't hit it and again this left him really discouraged but this time he actually voiced to Kay his discouragement and let her know that he was thinking about quitting and taking one of those low paying jobs around town like the rest of his family so she immediately went back to him and Kay said to him what kind of example would that set a poor one he responded right see when we fail she said Failing is actually better than when we succeed at the start because it forces us to grow stronger, to grow wiser, and most importantly, to grow more resilient. I find that hard to believe, Roy responded with. She said, well, have you ever tried something after you failed at it? No, he responded. So she looked at him and she said, why don't you make this your first try? Figuring he had nothing to lose, he decided to give it everything he had and started working harder than he ever had before. Over the following three months, Roy had worked harder than he ever had before. Fortunately, he had Kay there with him every step of the way, giving him guidance and training so that way he wasn't just working harder, but he was actually starting to work a little bit smarter as well. After six months since Kay had become his manager, he hit every single goal she had given him other than that first. Not only did he save his job with this performance, but he also took his whole family on a vacation just to show them what was possible. Over the following years, Roy actually became one of the top earners and performers within the company. So he was able to achieve his goal of actually becoming financially free, and he inspired other members of his family to take on more challenging jobs such as sales. But this time, Roy was able to guide them from the very start the same way Kay had once done for him. Everyone faces adversity like Roy did in his sales job. See, the fact that he became successful was not the lack of adversity that he faced along his path. It was the fact that he went through that adversity, kept getting up, and actually became stronger and more resilient during the process. See, if we want to achieve a goal or if we want to set out to become somebody that we currently are not or do something we've never done before, then that is going to require us to do things that we've never done to become somebody we've never been and along that process of doing something we've never done we are inevitably gonna fail what's great about that is that we always learn more from when we fail than when we succeed because the process of continuous failing and getting back up and failing and getting back up is the way that we actually do become successful because success is not achievable if there is not failures all along the path leading towards it. And what is great about actually becoming successful is not the things that we get at the end of the line, but it's who we become in the process and most importantly, 
who we are able to help as a result of who we have become. Just the same way that Roy was not only able to help himself become financially free, but he was also able to help the rest of his family to level up and to take on more challenging jobs so they too could become financially free. So with whatever it is that you're looking to do in your life right now, remember that it's not just for you. It's for the other people in your life that you will be an example for once you achieve that level of success. So keep moving forward, keep getting back up after you fail and build that strength, build that resistance to become the person you want to be. And once you become that person, pull somebody else up to your level because that is when true fulfillment comes in life.